Alfred Alfred needs to do laundry. <laughs> Oh, I gotta turn into a fucking ball. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. I turn into a ball all the time on the weekends. Hi, Gary. Yes, thanks for noticing. Not done. Is Gary a Gary Stu? Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which leads. Everything seems to work out for him in the end, right? another gold. He came home. What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> What, Gary? You think me as a man? I can't do this? <laughs> He's gone again. <laughs> very much. Very much like questioning his masculinity all the time. You think I need the help of some woman? That's absurd, Gary. I am a man. Sorry, the IRS came to my house. Oh, the IRS has okay. taken I'm over uh, Admiral's house. Jump. You miss misogynist is fun, Bob. He is, uh, he is, he, uh -oh. he's getting that Audi. <laughs> that gap looks impossible. Did you know that if you don't pay your taxes, okay, the, okay. I'll go get the IRS comes in and pulls your belly button out? That's how they mark you? True. <laughs> yeah. And so and everybody who keeps... has an Audi, like, they say it's from birth, it's not. It's, it's the IRS. Yeah, if they say it's from birth, then that means their parents didn't pay taxes. Like, for long enough that it was like they have to pull your baby's belly button. They have to pull your belly baby's belly button. Yeah. That's why they call it an Audi. It's crazy. Whoa, we you know we meet Sandy. You can just turn into her. I think the I think the algorithm is gonna give this to a bunch of kids. So like, I, <laughs> it's very weird that we're saying that kind of stuff. No, no well, we we could, we could say this isn't kid friendly. Pay your taxes. Yeah. If you don't pay your taxes, the IRS is gonna come to your house. And make your belly button into an Audi. Yeah. And if you if don't you already have a belly have button, an... if uh, you don't have a belly button, you're not human. <laughs> wow. You're a test tube, baby. You're an experiment <laughs> on a ride. Someone better make good use of all these. <laughs> there, there are actually people that say that. There are actually people that are like, "Nah, you're not human if you're not." Oh, like, uh, I mean. Uh, Women's women's rights soapbox, but what? I think it's fucked up that there are, no there are some people that believe that uh, women aren't moms if they don't give birth uh, naturally. Oh, so if they give birth through like a C-section or something? Is yeah, that, like, like they're, they're that's like, not really not... your baby. <laughs> that's like not, what are you? That's not your. I mean, like oh, you didn't that, give birth. That shit don't belong to you. Yeah, no, and it's fucked up. It's very fucked up, and I and I. I didn't know this until, you know, my girlfriend was like, yeah, that happens all the time. <laughs> all the time? All the time. Like, people just do that shit? That's fucked up, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Wait, hey, bro, sorry. I couldn't crank the baby out normally, but thank God we have the benefit of science. <laughs> I know, right? People died because of this. And then it, people are going to be like, nah, this, this gatekeep, this bullshit. Well, oh, these, are probably, these are probably also the same people who are like, it's God's will for you to have this baby. Yeah, pretty much. You know, right? <laughs> My man Admiral's getting very, very riled up right now. <laughs> He's like, What do you mean? <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting riled up. <laughs> it's funny that you would say that. <laughs> the robots have <laughs> Just being very, like, very confrontational about it. <laughs> it's funny that you think that. What's going on in the game, by the way? I don't know. <laughs> Who is this bitch? Oh. <laughs> the fuck is about this to get guy? Holy shit! Grab all oh my me. god! She's about to get grabbed by the goose. Oh Where my god! Oh, okay, she's fine. She's perfect. She's I wouldn't right. say. I wouldn't say fine. I would say That's, she's. People she, she have gone through worse. Like who? It's exactly like uh, when they drop. Never mind. Name a character that's gone through more trauma. I'll wait. <laughs> Dumpy. Yeah. Dumpy oh. just dropped on his <laughs> I, I, and broke his arm. I did break my arm. <laughs> he also got me, second degree burns. Me when arm broke. Oh yeah. Have I told that story before? You got I second degree burns? I don't think you have. No, yeah. you haven't. It. It's great. So basically, <laughs> I was at my babysitter. <laughs> I was at my babysitter's house, right? No, you were at our house. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. No, I, I still wasn't. Remember. Uh huh. I, I wasn't at your house. I was at my babysitter's house. Mm, well, and, you okay. know, they were like, "Yo, we're gonna." 
we're gonna go ahead and make you a cup of noodles because I was like, it's lunchtime. I'm fucking hungry. And so they prepared the cup of noodles and uh, the, the babysitter was like, I gotta go take care of something and left. Cup of noodles were done, four minutes, you know, the standard. Um, but the microwave was like high above. It's like one of those elevated ones. It's like above the stove or some shit. Uh -huh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And uh, I was like, yo, I can do this. I'll just grab it. So I like... How old were you at the time? I was, I don't know, I was like fucking seven or something. I was like, I couldn't, I couldn't reach it. I had to like help myself onto the counter. Mm -hmm. And like, I could barely reach like that high, like with my knees on the counter. I didn't want to like stand up on the counter, of course, cause that'd be absurd. Uh -huh. that would be and so I, I was like barely reaching and I'm like unsteady on my knees, pulling this cup of, this fucking cup of noodles fresh from the microwave. And I spill some on my hand and that shit burned. It was fucking hot. Uh-huh. And it burned my hand, and so my instinct, so when you hurt yourself, when you hurt your hand, like, what is your go-to move when you do that, Admiral? Uh, mm -hmm. Like, get away from the fucking hotness? Well, I mean, yeah, but how do you do it? How do you get away from it? Uh... Let's say you're, you're, you're minding your own business, you're walking along, da -da 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 -da. all of a sudden you're in the kitchen, right? And then you're talking to talking to your talking to your girlfriend or whatever she's doing stuff in the kit. I don't know. And then you know you don't know that the stove is turned on, so you're like talking and making a big deal about it. Then you lean up against the stove. The stove is really hot. So what do you do? He's gone again. <laughs> he just explodes. <laughs> oh, a spade a spade on this one. Oh, please. So go ahead with your story, then. Uh, yeah. So when you like heat, when you touch something that's hot, like a stove or something. You pull your hand away towards yourself, right? Uh huh. So I did that, but remember, I am also holding a cup of noodles, mm -hmm. which is fucking filled to the brim with hot water. So I spilled some on my hand and instinctually went, ow, and just pulled your basically hand hugged. Down. Yeah, I basically hugged the fucking cup of noodles and spilled water all over my body. Ah. And so I, I was fucking boink, dog. I was boink. I was in pain. And all I remember from that was just laying, like, it was, I was at my babysitter's house because, like, like, my, everyone in my family was busy and, like, they were working and shit. And so I'm just sitting on the couch at my babysitter's house, fucking in pain, just from burns and shit. You know, he It's like they have, they have, like, a fan on me. They have, like, wet fucking, like, napkins on me and shit. And it was like, we, I need to go to the doctor. This shit hurts. <laughs> I need to go to the What they do? Uh, do you remember like what happened after though? Oh uh, no, that's all I remember was laying on the couch in pain. Did you, I don't think we called the ambulance on it. I no, no, remember no. Something I, bad I went, happened to him. I simply <laughs> went we'd to, the to the doctor, who gave and, me lotion, uh, lotion that we still use now really for some reason. <laughs> that's very, that's very Latino. <laughs> I mean, it's not the same lotion. It's not the same lotion. It's a different lotion. I don't think that is. I think it's the same one that we used when I was burnt. I remember, like, anytime I have a burn that hurts really bad, and I tell my mother about it, she's like, oh yeah, we got this stuff. We and got it's like the same one. By any yeah, chances, it's set of it. Uh, no. It's like actual, like, medical uh, like, shit. Medi like, the medicated doc Yeah, the doctor gave it to me. He was like, here you go. He was like, don't bring yourself stupid. Yeah. Tell me. You idiot. You're the president? He said. <laughs> You're the president of the United States. He said, uh, Michelle, I'm gaming. I'm gaming. Shines. Speaking of gaming, what the fuck is happening with this game? Oh, it's going, bro. <laughs> it do be going, though. It's, it is it's going. happening. It is happening and nobody can fucking stop it. Nobody. Absolutely nothing. Open nothing the can door. Get on now, the door. Now that the glass sheet is this... God damn it. <laughs> well, <laughs> Stepped all over your own joke there, buddy. <laughs> yes, I did. Now, okay, with the though. glass ceiling shattered, the most oppressed group can rise above. Gamers! Thank you. <laughs> no problem, man. That, was, that was a reference, by the way, kid. We don't condone any of that. I believe. Nope, shatter the glass ceiling, kids. Gamers need to raise. Once again. Uh, girl gamers and boy gamers. Or just Every gamer. And all gamers. Except for the ones that throw my games. <laughs> And, uh, and, and, uh, you know, whatever flag you stand under. Except for the snake flag. Or the Nazi flag. <laughs> the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. another oh. reference to another one of our things. Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid. Go watch that, and then come back and watch this. 
watch also it all. subscribe to our Patreon. We don't have a Patreon. Oh, we don't? Well, no, uh, not yet. Well, just send, send Snoopo Jones money on, on Zell. <laughs> just Snoopo, just Snoopo. No one else. Just, just me, yeah, no one else. Here's my PayPal. Here's my uh, uh, OK Cupid. Yeah. Here's my OK Cupid. The hell is OK Cupid? You don't, it's you don't a know? dating app. Wait, hold on. Do you not know what OK Cupid is? No, I do not. Really? Yeah. How do you get dates nowadays? How do I what? How do you get dates? <laughs> what I, is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is talking to women? Yeah, dude, come on. What? <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, wait. I mean, you're not supposed to say that, but hey, you more power to you, I guess. I mean, if you want, I'd, nobody's gonna stop you. Nobody, yeah. Um, but, uh, hey, man. He's editing it, so he can bleep it out if he wants. Yeah, if he wants to, yeah, sure. Um, but, hey, man, however you want to get dates is fine. You get online date. You, that's how I met my girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> um, wow, rub so, it in, why don't you? <laughs> No, yeah, no. I, I, I'm gonna tell you the, the story of my first date, and then you'll be like, oh, yeah, you rubbed it in. Uh, so I spent the entire time eating the whole pizza that we ordered at the pizza place. Uh, there you are, boy. He was like, I don't want it to go to waste. And yeah, no, I, well, I mean, I assume I was extremely nervous, and then I spent the entire time talking about my ex. So, uh, my, my girlfriend does not remember... How can you <laughs> my girlfriend resist this man, Doug? Yeah, no, but my girlfriend does not remember the date fondly. In fact, she was like, oh, yeah, no, that's why we didn't talk afterwards. It's cause, you you yeah. owe me a fucking pizza, Doug. You owe me a whole ass pizza, and you couldn't stop talking about your girlfriend. Also, your crochet corner. Friend. And, uh, wow. like and apparently, well, she, we, so we went back to her car, and I was like, hey, how about a kiss? And she was like, oh. Uh, you know, I have a headache. I'll, I'll pass. Yeah, no. <laughs> she said, oh, no, thank you. No. Um, she said, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I, I really have a headache. And I was like, oh. So, like, I was wondering, like, oh, you know, maybe, maybe I could set the mood. So, you know, touching her a little bit and be like, oh. And then I try to go for the kiss and immediately she's not into it, right? Like, she's not, she just gives me like a little kiss, like a little peck back, right? Uh-huh. Now you just want to kiss the crab. Just a little peck. A smooch like you're kissing your sister. I said kiss it. I could read this this entire time. So according to her, I gave her the worst kiss she ever got. <laughs> the worst first. She calls it the dead fish kiss. Because of the way that like I pursed my lips and was like, uh, I hope I don't fucking like, I don't, I hope I don't, you know, like, ruined the vibe or whatever and and i kissed her and it was it was very sucky so that was my first date <laughs> and then i left i left i ran away i have um my old fat pants which are like a, a size too big because i don't want to deal with the fucking the uh, with tightness and oh. um and uh she said i ran away uh pulling my pants up and that's what she remembers the most about me <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs>